I've sold out of my Ted cars. My, my Ted cars are gone. I got rid of my Bentley. I got rid of everything. I, I just don't have a car to drive. And this is sort of an exciting time for me. It's the time when I go search for the next Ted car. And I'm going to find me a nice one this time. We got the team in the car and we're on the run. We know what it takes to be number one. And we'll be riding high when the day is done. We're just out here having fun. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, South Beach Classics. Woo! Hey, Marcus, you wanted to see me? Yeah, Ted. We need to get the message of South Beach Classics into the 21st century. What are you talking about? Your advertising system doesn't function anymore. It's too old. You're right. I've come up with some new things. I'm going to put some new ads in the phone book. What? I'm getting a new ad ready for the phone book. I'm also going to put some newspaper ads out, too. Nobody looks at the newspaper anymore. It's called internet. It's a computer, social media. Don't be a wise guy. You know how our cars are selling? I don't need any of that. I'm doing fine, just Ted. the way we're doing. I'm doing new stuff. I'm working on stuff. Ted, do you even know how to do Instagram? Yeah, I can wire money anywhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> Instagram is social media. You take pictures and you reach millions of people. I don't need a dating site. It's not a... This marketing plan has been good for me for 40 years. 40 years ago, maybe. Now, it's the 21st century. I've been looking at some companies. You know, there's a nice company called Accord. They'll come in, they do 99.9% .9 of the work. Listen, you're a gambler? Not really, but I'll, I'll bet you. The Cobra, the guy's coming to see today. Got a price at like 42. I told you anything over 30 is a win. Yeah. OK. You touch 40, and I'll hire the agency for the year. All right, 40 or up. And if not, you'll shut up. Yep, won't bother you anymore. Done. Later. I think you're nuts. Ted has his marketing plan on his little piece of paper that he always has put away. I know that's how he's done things for the past 40 years, but once he sees everything starts moving along, he'll be happy with it. This is what I do. I've been doing it a long time. I'm very successful at it. I don't need an agency to tell me what to do. I don't think he can get 40 grand for the car. I don't think he's up to that task. I mean, if he can do it, I'll do what I say, but I think I'm safe. Hi. Hey, Ted, Brad. Hey, Brad, my secretary, Louisa, said you were out here with a Jeep. Yeah, I'd like to sell it, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> I know this color, Pelican Q Pink. This 1985 uh, Jeep CJ7, uh, purchased it in 1990. It was originally a, uh, a dark red color. Drove the thing into the ground for four years, and then it was uh, all redone, stripped down, full, full restore, and uh, turned pink. This Jeep's the last vestige of my marriage, 23-year marriage, and uh, I need to move on, get rid of the memories, and pay some bills. This is your Jeep. It's my Jeep. It's actually from, uh, from my marriage. I was married for 23 years, and my ex-wife wanted it pink back in 1996. Wow. What year is the Jeep? Uh, this is an 85 Jeep CJ7. A yeah, seven, yeah, it's the last of them, isn't it? Yeah, the last of the real Jeeps, right before Chrysler bought them out. Exactly. Nice, I mean, other than this Pelican puke pink. You know, I've been wondering about selling this Jeep because it's pink. Uh, I think I have an advantage. This is Miami, we got South Beach. Should fit right in. It's a clean car. Thank you. All right, I buy them. I mean, other than the color being horrific, it's a pretty clean old Jeep. It's well loved. I like it. Deal's going very well. I think I'm going to own it because this guy, Brad, does not want to bring this car home. You know, he's got bad memories. It's a divorce. It's the Jeep he bought and painted for her. He wants it gone, and I'm here to help him. What's it going to take to own this Jeep? Well, I'm, I'm thinking about 10000 you serious? Yeah, I'm very serious. That's insane. No, it's a Jeep. Everybody wants a Jeep. I'm not everybody, I guess, because I can't sell this for half that much. It's not that kind of money. I mean, it's a seven, it's the last of them. I got all that. Yeah. But um, it's just not worth that kind of money. No AC either. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. You're getting divorced. Yes. This is the end. This is the last vestige of your marriage. It is the last vestige of my marriage, yes it How is. How bad do you want it going? You know what, to be honest with you, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I need to move on, need to move on with my life. Reality-wise, if I buy this and paint it and fix it, I'm gonna get five grand. I gotta buy it for a grand. Grand? Yeah, $1,000 cash money, I'll take it as is, where is, done. And okay. that's what I'll do. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's not about the money. I figured that. Yeah. When it's gotta go, it's gotta go. Yeah, it's gotta go. Grand, I'll buy it. Deal. Okay, done. 
Thanks, Ted. Come on in. Well, I tried to sell it to Ted for 10, but you know, he made sense. You know, I understand the condition it's in. He's getting repainted. I thought, I thought Miami Pink. We, I had a deal here, but you know, I got to take what I got to take. Got to move on. I'm very happy. Ted made this happen. It was painless. He's happy. I'm happy. These are the deals I like, and I'll make money with the car, and it's all good. Ted. All right, two things. This title is being transferred over to the gentleman. All right, we'll get this over there today. Right away. So we can get this finished, and this right. car will be out of here okay. by the end of the week, OK? Now this one. Hey, Marcus. Yeah? Some guy's here looking for you. It's got 40 grand. For what car? Uh, Cobra. Oh, thank you. They'll be here on Tuesday, OK? You don't need uh, this anymore. Go away. I'll Just see you later. Have a good one. Bye. I want to bet with Ted. Now we have the new company coming in. You know, in the beginning, I think Ted's not going to be very happy with it. Once this whole thing starts going with the social media, wouldn't surprise me if he starts taking some selfies and putting it on social media, knowing him, he'll take a lot of them. So watch out, world. Ted Brennan's coming. Mark has got the 40 grand, and I have to live up to my deal. I got to give a year contract to these people from the advert agency. I don't really want to talk about ad agencies. I don't really want to hear their proposals. I'm not interested in it, but I promise, so I'm going to go with it. If I had my druthers, I'd rather be out buying myself a nice new car. I need a car. I want to buy a new Ted car something really off the charts, and I don't have one. Life's too short to be driving cars you don't like. That's why so many people come into my place and buy their dreams. This 190 SL, but I'm just looking, and for some reason, did you take away the original carbs? Because it says Weber's on here. <laughs> Very good. It was Solex when yeah. it was born. I can get the Solex carbs, but they just weren't really as good as the Weber's. I mean, the car that I would really want would be the 300 SL. I mean, that was a supercar back in the day. I mean, what did they do? They produced it in what, 1954? And then 1955, they brought it into a roadster and a soft top, which is impressive. But it'd be too, I mean, you wouldn't be able to afford it. What is it, like 1.5 million now? Yeah, you're a car person. Huh? I love my cars. Oh, this is a beautiful car, but too slow for me, four cylinders. Hey, Ted. So did you meet Lucy? Lucy? Yeah. Lose your bet, Lucy? That's Lucy. Yeah, you're not a sore loser anymore. Anyway, guys, see you next week at the agency meeting. Bye. Bye, Lucy. That's her, huh? Yeah, yeah. Wait till next week. I'll see you later. You know, I came out to help someone looking at the 190 SL, and it turned out to be Marcus's advertising lady. Seems that she was doing a little recon on the whole place. Smart, I guess. I've lost a bet. I've got to live with it. I have to deal with this for a year. This guy just walked in and made a beeline for the 190 SL. Guys that go right up to the car and start getting involved with it are usually serious. So I'm going to go out there and see if I can close this guy. How you doing? Good, thank you. You got good taste. You're looking at my best. Well, it's one of the nicest ones I've seen around. Well, it's a really uh, correct car, both tops, matching numbers. I'm sure you know they made them from 55 to 63. This is a 62. It's one of the last. They only made like 26,000 of these the whole run. These cars have gone out of sight, and they're going up every day. So good sellers. It's the only one I have. Yeah, I've been looking for about a year and a half, and I like the color combination. I'm here to buy a 1962 190SL. I'm a car collector. I like muscle cars. I like European cars. Anything that's in good condition, that's a matching number. This happens to be a matching numbers car, which I've been looking for, and I've been looking for this color, red, which is very difficult to find in a car of this condition. As you know, these are probably the most rapidly appreciating collector car these days. Uh, the 300SLs are well over a million dollars. This car is... Probably going to hit 200 in the next year. I have it priced at 125. I think it's worth it. It's a beautiful car. I can't pay 125. I'll offer you 80,000 today. What's your name? Chuck Maney. Chuck Ted Vernon. Let's get real. He wants 125 for the car. I'm here to write a check today. I drove quite a ways to get this car, but uh, at 125, I'm not a buyer. It's worth 100. It's not worth a buck and a quarter, but that's where he and I got to come together on a number. You know, to get into a good 190 SL today, you can expect to spend 100. This is a little bit above that, and a buck and a quarter's fair. I don't know if he's going to step up and pay the price. 
wants the car, but he's hitting me at 80 grand on a car that's 125 grand. I want him to come up damn close to one and a quarter if he wants to own the car. Chuck, um, I, I don't normally get my feelings hurt, but these cars were 80 two to four years ago, okay? 125 is a really correct price for the car. I'd like you to have the car. You, you, you seem like a serious guy. But 80 is way out of the question. You can't do it. Ted, I'm not here to insult you. I love the car. You got a, a nice collection of cars here, but this is the one I want. I want to buy this car. Pay I want to buy it today. Pay me a buck and a quarter and be done with it. Let's 125 is just way out of the, <laughs> out of the book. 105, that, that's the best I can do. And that's 25,000 more than I offered you in the beginning. Well, you try to rob it. I don't I, blame well, you. I, what are you supposed to do? <laughs> I agree with you, but you can't. I'll make you an offer, and if you want it, I'll take it. And don't want to fight with you. You're a gentleman. 115, and it's your car. Ted, you're killing me. At 115, that's all the money. This is all the car. And I when know you sell it next I... year for 200, you'll buy me dinner, because that's the number. 115, you own it. I'm not playing any more than I can't. Ted, 115, filet and lobster for dinner tonight, and I'll buy it. You're buying lobster? No, you're buying filet and lobster. I'm giving you 115. You bought it. I'm buying steak and lobster tonight. Thank you very much. I left my checkbook at home, but I got a check in my back pocket. <laughs> Let's go. I'm Let's done go. with you. Done deal. Chuck finally showed some emotion. When the deal was done, he shook my hand. He let out a silly laugh, but he was just straight as a gun barrel through the whole deal. I feel really good about what the car did. I earned good on it. It's very good. Happy, happy. The best part of the whole deal was when I told Ted I left my checkbook at home, his eyes got the size of a 50 cent piece. Then I told him I had a check in the back pocket and he seemed to get back to normal. But uh, I love buying this car today. Ted was a decent negotiator, not near as good as I am, but I saved 10,000 and I'm getting the car I wanted. Hello. Hey brother, what's up? A phantom drophead, white pearl. Ooh, that's me, that's me. Is it price where I can afford it? Where's it at? All right, if it's what you said it is, it's mine. I'm gonna head over there. Right now, I don't really have any Ted cars. You know, I like big caddies, I like big Rolls Royces. I like cars like that, and I don't have one. So I'm just driving whatever's around, whatever's closest to the door. I've never owned a Phantom convertible. I sure want to. I'll be over at your place in an hour. Wow, Phantom drophead. I never had a Phantom drophead which means convertible to you. Prettiest car in the world. He said, it's me, Pearl White. I'll buy it if it's right. Brother, how you Good doing? to see you. Good to see, Good to see you. you. Yeah, so you drove in a very strange uh, vehicle there. It's not a Ted car. It is not a Ted car. What in the world is that? <laughs> Don't stop picking on me, man. I came to buy a Ted car. Well, we got something exciting for you, Ted. I mean, something right up your alley. Can I look around a little first? Absolutely. This is the newest for Rolls Royce, the Rolls Royce Dondi. It's beautiful. This vehicle is just amazing. The technology that they've brought out in this car. It's a satellite assist transmission where it tells the car where to downshift, upshift. It's just an amazing vehicle. I mean, this is like a, a little smaller Phantom. This is kind of going back a little bit to what the old Corniche was. Don't you have a Corniche? I have a Corniche. There you go. I thought of you then. I've known Ted for, I would say, about a couple of years, maybe. Uh, and uh, we call him on vehicles that are in the areas that he uh, plays with. I know he's owned a few Corniches, and I just know that this will be exciting for him. So, Ralph, you got a Ferrari FF? This is one of the trades that we take in. Spectacular. I need a Ted car. Well, after seeing what you came in in, Stop. you do need a Ted car. I mean, that <laughs> Bremen Motor Cars has been a household name for many years. Here in Palm Beach, we have a tremendous presence with the luxury brands. Rolls-Royce is one of the pinnacles of what we have here, so we do great. We're excited. We're excited with what we do and the products that we carry. Ted, 2009 Phantom Drophead. Carrera white, pearlized, seashell interior, right up your alley. Wow. The vehicle that we got in is a 2009 Phantom Drophead. This is a trade-in that we took in uh, a couple of days ago and uh, something that we normally don't keep here, but it's something that I know that people like Ted that we know would enjoy having. He's gonna fall right in love with it. My first reaction when I saw this Phantom is instant love. I'm not a white car guy, but that white pearl just blew me away. I love it. This is absolutely a Ted car. 
one of the most Ted cars I've ever seen. Is this right up your alley or what? It is, I admit it. The center caps being missing don't bother me. Well, that's the easiest part to, uh, yeah. to replace, so I that's not a major that. issue. Or I'll change the wheels, so I don't care about that. What I would do with this car is I would buy a set of wheels, paint them white to match the car. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. my style. That is, uh, and, that put, is... and put the double R in the middle. And you can make it look uh, Ted style. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. So, uh, what's the damage? This 2009 Rolls Royce Phantom original price would be right between 500,000 and about 520,000 new. Knowing that Ted knows, you know, pretty much what the wholesale values on these cars are, we know that we should be between 140 and 150. What we truly need to be is at 150 on this car. Between 125 and 175 is what the car is actually worth. How far I can beat Ralph up, that's the question. I mean, I already said I love it, but I didn't get crazy with him. Ralph, I love the car. I can't say I don't. I figured that this would be right uh, where you would want to be, the kind of car that you have probably been looking for, and I figured you were uh, the perfect person for it. Never had a drop head. The convertible of convertible, so you can't go wrong with this. So how much do I have to pay for this $125,000 car? Well, as you know, this vehicle right now, it's, it's the value of this car is right about the 170, 175 on this car. You. But I'm not a retail buyer. You're not a retail buyer, so I know you know what this car uh, should be. So we feel that, you know, we can be somewhere between the 140, 150 range. But I'm at 125. And that is just heartbreaking. You know that the value of this car is somewhere in the 150 range. May I make you an offer? We always take offers. I'll pay you 140 for the car right now. Done. 140. Stop whining. Ted. Stop whining. There's an edge here. There is an edge, but or I'll pay you a little still... more if you put the fix the wheels. But I'll pay you 140. All, as it, all is. it needs is a little dressing. What you got to do to it is minor. I'm in. 140. I'll buy it. Can you stretch on that, Ted? I'm stretching to give 140. I'd rather give 130. <laughs> but at 140, I'll buy the car. You know, Ted, you're a good man, and we appreciate doing business with you. I believe you know what car is worth, and I just want to see you drive it out of here. 140. I'll yes, pay sir. you now, and I will leave with it. I will get it out of your sight. It's all yours. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My first drop head. Oh man. Wow. Great. Thank you. Excellent. Let's go do some paperwork. Got it. I'm leaving with the car. You're driving. I'll send somebody for that uh, toad. So after seeing what Ted drove into, we were very happy to see him drive out on the Phantom Drophead, you know, which is one of our pinnacle vehicles here. It was nothing more exciting than that. Ted has always been a great uh, supporter with us, and uh, doing business with him has been always a pleasure. So we love calling him and being able to bring him here and, and take some of these vehicles that I know that fit him perfectly. I am so happy. I have my favorite car in the world, a Phantom Drophead. I think that Ralph was very fair with me, and I'm cruising. I'm going on the road. I am happy going home. Great. What's your current marketing plan, Marcus? His idea of advertising is a phone book. Really? Um, yeah. So he's not embraced social media at all? What's Facebook? Really? What's Instagram? Wow, this is going to be fun. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Remember, you're here because he lost the bet. It's going to be fun. Well, I mean, it's, it looks like you have a lot of business, but you just seem to be too dated. Hello. Hello, Mercedes SL lady. How are you? I'm fine. I've just been told that you lost a bet. I'm really sorry. I've got you for a year. Lucky yeah. me. So tell me about your current marketing plan. I'm in the local news papers. I'm in the yellow pages. I'm in the white pages. I, I'm covered. I'm good. I'm selling cars like candy bars all the time. What are you going to do for me? We need to get you on social media. We need to make you and that stash. We need to make that a personality in itself. This is the website rebrand. Florida's largest. I mean, it looks amazing. Well, this is only a sample because I don't see me. Speaking of you, Ted, this is social media. So if you see Ted, 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 this is social media. Now, don't take this the wrong way, but what we've come up with is submit your stash. People can submit a picture of themselves onto social media wearing a stash. I'm Ted Vernon kind of thing, you know? I hate it. You don't like it? Trust I like, me. I think the dog looks good. Ted, it really doesn't matter if you like it or not. You lost. And the thing is, it'll get thousands and thousands of people on the website. Sending their with, pictures yeah, exactly. and all that. Could you do that in the yellow pages? All I do in the yellow pages is sell cars. Ted, do you know how many people have employed me to make money for them? I've got a lot of happy customers. After these 364 days and after this stash, you're going to beg me to stay. I'm not going to say a word. Deal? I have 364 more days of you. That's okay. a deal. Perfect. I look forward to it. Okay. 
Well, I lost a bet. I'm stuck with uh, Lucy and her agency for a year. I hope it gets better, because it ain't going to get worse. I don't believe there's anyone better than Lucy to drag Ted literally into the 21st century. And if she has to, she will drag him. I've met in the past a lot of people like Ted that are set in their own ways, do, do very, very well in their businesses, and just don't really want to go into the 21st century. At the end of the day, it's 365 days to make this company amazing. And if it means that Ted has to have a little bit of fun poked out of him, he's just going to have to deal with it. Lucy's pushing me to come into the 21st century. I'm very happy being in the 1900s, the 50s, the 60s. That's my era, that's what I like. The music, the cars, the good times, that's what I like. I mean, I know she's bright, I know she's good at what she does. She's very persuasive. But I don't know, this is tough. <laughs>